What a pendulum swing in just one month. There has been a massive shift in the Vancouver real estate market and I'm diving into it right now. The number of Metro Vancouver homes listed for sale on the MLS rose 64.7% year over year and 42% month over month. This was 25.8% above the 10 year seasonal average and the most inventory we've had since the summer of 2020. Another surprising story in the April data is the fact that prices continue climbing across most segments with recent increases typically in the range of one to 2% month over month. Although you wouldn't guess it out there, as an agent out on the field every day, I can tell you that the market feels sluggish at the moment. The one segment that didn't see an uptick in prices in April was apartments, which actually saw a 0.1% decline month over month. Sales are up approximately 3% from April of 2023 and 17% from last month, indicating a typical seasonal upward trend. However, if we look at the 10-year average, sales volumes are still about 12% under the long-term average. Despite this being the fourth with consecutive month of increases, the market's recovery feels sluggish. For a broader perspective, there were more sales during April of 2007 and 2008 during the global financial crisis than there were last month. This indicates a slow overall pace of the current market. Last month, a number of things happened in the market. First, the Canadian government revised the capital gains tax effective June 25th, 2024. For individuals, gains over 250,000 now face a 66% inclusion rate up from 50% and corporations face a flat 66% tax on all gains. Next, first time home buyer benefits change slightly. You can now use up to $60,000 of your RSPs up from the $35,000 previously allowed. Also, after August of this year, you will be able to use a 30 year amortization if you're a first time home buyer purchasing a new build property. This equates to 5% more purchasing power. So what does this all mean for buyers and sellers? Well, for buyers, this massive increase in new inventory is giving you more time and more selection to find the home you really want. Sellers, this is gonna be a bit of a wake up call for you. All year long, those sellers who have priced their home sharply have seen success in their homes being sold. Those who are overshooting the perceived market value are seeing their home sitting. I'm also seeing a lot of listings coming to the market at one price, sitting on the market for a week or two, maybe not getting the action that they were hoping for. So they reduce their price in order to encourage a multiple offer situation, which they may or may not get. And if they do, it's not what they really want in terms of price. So what do they do? They raise their price higher than originally listed. This is a terrible, terrible strategy, and I do not recommend it. The new Airbnb regulations came into effect nine days ago on May 1st. With a massive increase in inventory, you might think it's mostly due to the condo segment and those homeowners listing their properties in April in order to avoid the new restrictions on short-term rentals. Interestingly, the increase in inventory is not solely with condos, but is evenly spread across all property types. We'll have to wait and see what impact these regulations have on the market over the next few months. I talked about this last month and the fact that the recently announced renter's bill of rights is getting a lot of attention. Now, I don't have confirmation on this yet, just hearsay that on June 16th, 2024, the Residential Tenancy Board will most likely be changing the two month notice to end tenancy to four months. I think this will have a negative effect on those properties currently listed on the MLS which are tenanted. But let me know your thoughts in the comments. Still on the horizon is the much anticipated rate cut purportedly coming in June. Considering the continued strong demand by buyers and the current market's higher inventory levels, an interest rate cut in June could impact our market in an interesting way. If you're looking to stay informed in the real estate market, whether buying or selling, knowledge is essential. Our SnapStats market reports are an excellent resource offering a wealth of information tailored to your specific market area. To access the full reports for Metro Vancouver, Greater Vancouver, or the Fraser Valley, just click on the images below. For those viewing this on YouTube, Facebook, or Instagram, down in the description below is a link to a sample report. Take a moment to review it, and if you find it valuable, 
and I think you're going to love these reports, you can easily subscribe by filling out your name and email address to start receiving those reports immediately. Hey, thanks very much for watching. If you enjoyed that video and you want to learn more about Metro Vancouver neighborhoods, you can check them out on this playlist right here. And while you're here, hit that subscribe button because on this channel, you're going to find everything you need to live, love, and own here in Vancouver. So don't forget to subscribe.